back, I'm Calvin, aka Statue Fanatic, here with another review, and today we're going to take a look at a, another World of Warcraft statue. This one's a little unique in that this is the very first one, nearly three and a half to four years ago, that came out in this World of Warcraft series. This is the first one that I've ever, I ever saw, and I saw my brother from another mother, Mr. George Tony Stank Medina, uh, review this when he first started and if you guys want to chuckle a little bit if you look I'm gonna leave the little thing you know that thing that all the youtubers talk about that's gonna come up there and it's gonna show where you can click on it and go watch George's video I want you to compare George that many years ago to the George today it'll make you laugh I love it and I know I'm no different because you look at my old videos it's, it's, they're, they're kind of hard to watch but George he tried really hard and not only that, he did a great job reviewing this, so much so that I wanted it. The problem then was that it was already sold out. The statue, I think, was only $299 when it came out. And it was already sold out by then. Didn't know much about World of Warcraft, and George did a fantastic job kind of introducing who this particular guy was, uh, Grimash and uh, Grom, and talked about the lore and all that kind of stuff and how he became that and how he killed the guy that made him become that, all that kind of cool stuff. So please go check out his video. Now, I'm going to review it because it's been four years later and I finally, thanks again to my friend George, I was able to get this guy and you will not believe the deal I got on it. So I was very, very happy. And it was, I've had it for months and months and months. And every time I talk to George, he says, did you open it? Did you open it? Did you open it? So now, George, I'm opening the damn thing, okay? And I'm actually going to unbox it and everything right here on camera. It's going to be very interesting again. All right. Man, this thing right out of the bag. Let's see here. Like I said, this is number one. And if you kind of keep coming back, please check out. The fact that I am going to take all five, I think it's five, of the Warcraft statues that Blizzard has released and lay them all out here so you can see them in all their beautiful glory. But before I do that, I have to do this. And this looks like it's going to be a freaking simple install. Fantastic. That's the installation guide right there. Booyah! There you go. All right. Get this guy out of the box. Finally, man, after I've reviewed a few of these, people have stopped giving me crap because I don't, you know, I don't know much about the game. I'm just telling you, man, these characters look awesome. And I watched the movie, so doesn't that help? Um, says this is for ages 50. You know what? I didn't even talk about the box. You saw how cool it was, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and open it. <laughs> it was a cool box. George spends a lot of time talking about how cool that box was, so you should check him out. I mean, he goes over the whole thing, how cool it was, and the artwork, and check this out. Cracks me up, man. Remember my first video I did, man? I'm sitting there going, this is my first video on YouTube. I cannot believe people liked that video as much as they did. And all of you who showed me love, when I first did that video, thank you so much because a lot of people don't understand. It's, it's kind of scary putting yourself out there for people to judge you in so many ways and all you're doing is talking about the things that you love. Well, hold on. This is me being unprepared. I got to go get this thing to, you know, zip, open it. All right. I, I just had to get a kitchen knife. <laughs> Ooh. Mm -hmm. 
So here you have him, Grimash out of the box. And wow, this is really freaking incredible. This statue looks absolutely amazing. Um, three years ago, I mean, more, more than that, actually, when it was announced and it came out. And like I said, the first time I saw it, George reviewed this and um, he didn't do an unboxing. So I did an unboxing, but it is just absolutely i'll turn this around so you can see this this piece looks absolutely stunning beautiful piece um and like i've said before even though i don't play the game and the characters and what um blizzard has done with these statues is just simply amazing so i'm going to talk about the character now do a little mini review we could talk about the base and all of that kind of stuff but like i said i love the statue period Looking at the base and this character that he's standing on, you can see that this looks like the character that he killed, I'm assuming, that turned him into who he was. And by killing this character, frees him and his people from the, the, the spell of this stuff that he drank. So here you can see him standing on this guy with his tongue hanging out, completely uh, destroyed him. Looks like his head is split in half right there from this big axe that he has right there and you can see his tongue his teeth all of that great detail in that you can see one horn here with a ton of sculpting and all these striations and looks like ivory um, there but here you can see where another one has been slashed off right there um, I'm assuming in battle and then as you look around rem remnants of this character or this creature that he's defeated lots of detail and texture in the skin of that the folds and all of that kind of stuff. And then you see here what looks like rock formation here. And you see these green, um, in here, this green goo that's inside of there that's bubbling up out of there. The base, as you can see, is just loaded with a ton of detail. I mean, it goes on and on with how well it's done. And since we're on the base, we'll talk about the paint application on the base, the shading, all of that, exquisite. It just looks phenomenal. Uh, for a piece that was so inexpensive when it came out and uh, to have this amount of detail on it, it's just absolutely amazing. I was kicking myself that I didn't pick this up when I, when I saw it and, you know, but I didn't want to pay that price. So I stuck to my guns and I'm like, it was three years later before I can even get it. I just bought the new ones that came out. But eventually George knew that I wanted this and it came up with, a, with somebody. He says, hey, Calvin, I think you can get that statue. And uh, I jumped on the chance to get it. And then as we w look up at his legs and his feet, you can see a lot of detail. He has these boots on that is reinforced with armor there. And it also has a bunch of styrofoam that I still cannot get off. By the way, this thing that I was using for collectors, I'm just saying, it's really awesome in terms of being able to dust your statues and all that kind of stuff. I got it off of uh, Amazon. It doesn't hurt even the most delicate pieces, you know, if you're careful it doesn't do anything to them but it does a great job of dusting your statues and getting all of that crazy stuff off without having to use your hand and other things to brush so i'll put that aside hey how about that right in the middle of that see buy that thing it, it works especially for statue collectors but anyway back to this they had so much styrofoam on there um lots of detail in his boots you can see here the buckle the leather there um the steel toe that reinforces his boot and all of the fur that's around him to keep him warm, I presume. And then the uh, kneecaps here in the front that the shin guards that are protecting him, really nicely detailed. And as you go up to his body, uh, you can see the outfit that he's wearing here with all of the detail. It kind of looks like leather. The stitching looks amazing. I mean, it's just a wonderful paint job with the shading and everything. The long cloth that he's wearing I can't call it a cloth because it's not that but you know what I mean here in the middle that looks really awesome very uh, finely detailed a ton of shading and paint um, on there the same thing with the skull look at the detail on that skull that's in his midsection looks great looks just fantastic and then as you go up to his chest the same thing his skin all of that the the um, the shading on it it looks a marvelous <laughs> Marvelous, that's pretty cool. It looks great. Um, just love the piece. Uh, it's supposed to be a short review because it's an older piece, but for those of you who may not have seen this and seen some of my other pieces, um, I thought you might want to see this too because like I said, the next video that I post after this should be all of them together so you can check out all of them and see what they look like together there. And see on the back here, that leather um, uh, 
uh, kilt type thing he's wearing. Lots of stitching and everything there. Um, the belt that's holding it all together. Stitching on here and uh, the, the paint just looks fantastic. Uh, the gauntlet, lots of detail on the gauntlet here. Um, his hands, he's got gloves on actually because you can see stitching with the gloves that he's wearing. It fits his hand like a glove. Ha! Uh, <laughs> but um, what else? What else? What else? What else? It just, it's a great freaking statue. It is awesome. And so I'm glad I finally got around to opening this damn thing so I can take a look at it and the axe. You can see the blood on it where he chopped that damn guy up right there. Yep, see it right there, all chopped up. Um, and the detail of the skull, there's a skull on the end of the axe right there. Um, and of course you saw how super easy this went together. So fantastic, I didn't even need the instructions, but they came, you know, click, 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 few pieces. And they all seem to stay in place really well. And sculpting in his face, of course we gotta talk about the portrait there. This guy's fucking pissed, man, he's pumped. He's just like, finally, you know? Um, and you can see all that in his face, man. You can see, see it. You can see it. Like, he's like, ah! That whole thing. But, um, I don't know if that's review terms for a statue, but you get what I'm talking about. This guy looks like he's freaking just, ooh, I get it. And, um, it's just an awesome expression on his face. Absolutely love the piece. A score right there, um, for my collection. Yeah, I gotta play this game, man. It just seems so hard, though, because, and it just seems like... I'm, I and there's the new one that's coming out that they keep pushing back. I keep I, I said it. I'm gonna get. I hope it's a good jumping on point. You know, if not, I'll just watch a lot of gameplay online just to enjoy this. But the movies I really liked, and um, yeah, man, here you have my latest acquisition from the Warcraft family. Uh, that's about it. I don't have anything else. I can just kind of like stay on camera and just keep talking. But I'm not gonna do that. But as always, guys. What makes this so much fun for me is that I collect what I like and not the hype and everybody else be damned. And because of that, you get this type of excitement when you get something that you really want. So until next time, my friends, peace.